Right, this is just a quick video to show how Blender runs on the M1 Pro. I'm using a 16 inch uh, with 16 gigabytes of RAM. It has the M1 Pro, it's not the Max, but the uh, Pro and Max have the same CPU performance. Also, this should be the same performance as you'd get on a 14 inch. I'm running Blender 2.9 3.5. And this is one of the sample scenes that they have on the Blender website. It was one of the title screens. And I'm not really going to give you numbers, but rather I'm just going to kind of show you how, how responsive it is, how quickly thing, things render, and just overall how usable it is. So as you can see, in the real-time renderer for this scene it's pretty usable and it's not uh, whoops it's not necessarily all that laggy back to the camera see it pretty much renders out within a second or two now let's look at cycles because cycles is what I use. You can see it renders pretty quickly. This is still just the preview. And it's doing it all on the CPU because we don't have cycles on metal yet. They are working on that though, by the way. That's a nice recent development. So just moving around the viewport. And if you turn on denoising in the viewport, then we get a pretty usable, um, usable workspace. And this is not impressive if you have like a 3090 or something, but this is a a pretty compact laptop running on battery well mine technically is plugged in but if I unplug it it performs the same and um, just real quick I'll try rendering it in like a, a normal render you can see how quickly it renders out uh, this is at 200 samples and the other settings aside from device and feature set are just whatever came in the file except for I changed the tile size because I don't like the smaller tile sizes so yeah that's how quickly it'll render stuff out pretty cool